a young fella. Or things. What do you think me? What do you think me Christmas hat? Oh, geez, you'll be baiting the women off. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas to you too. Cheers, do you know who was looking for you in the pub Saturday night? Who? No one. <laughs> Good, Good start. News. News. Big news. Paddy Fong is back on Tinder. Hey! Yes. <laughs> we did up his biography. Okay. Bye. Right. Bio. Interest include cement. <laughs> brown. What do you mean brown? Pipe. <laughs> Other interests include... Deliveries, <laughs> badgers, and he enjoys looking at a good hot press. <laughs> <laughs> and not been around when you fucking want him. <laughs> Drives anything that moves. <laughs> Afraid of trains. Is he? Yeah. Should I remember? He was telling you. Oh, yeah. He's afraid. He doesn't know where they're going. <laughs> good with his hands. Well, good is a bit strong. <laughs> Handy to have around the place. Will clean shoots, etc. <laughs> Outdoorsy. <laughs> he is that, yeah. 50 something plumbing enthusiast. Looking to meet a woman aged 30 to 50 or above 80. Oh, that's an odd one. Well, an old one, she might die and leave him the farm. <laughs> <laughs> of course, of course. A nice country lady for long drives and maybe more. <laughs> Oh, he wants a word with you. Oh, ooh, with me? Yeah. Why? He put on that show you were talking about. The Chaser. The Chase? Yeah. He was hoping for a bit of driving. <laughs> Cars <laughs> tearing around after each other. He's only lad sending the boat. It's a quiz show. He wasn't happy. He said there was no one doing any chasing. <laughs> Fucking fella standing around talking. <laughs> um, has his own house <laughs> with kettle and mostly carpets. <laughs> mostly you want to see the house? Oh, he's bad. Oh, jeez. You wouldn't put a ghost in it. <laughs> Suitable <laughs> candidate must fit into the passenger seat of the Astra. Uh, Non-smoker, social drinker. <laughs> <laughs> Paddy never smoked. Do you know that? Did you not? No. Now, I made him smoke for a couple of years. <laughs> but that was just because he was allergic. <laughs> and we, we got a laugh out of it, like... <laughs> Jay-Z, cool. I used to be coughing. That was hilarious. He'd be dying. He'd be fucking dying. We'd be getting some crack out of it. We're kind of tired of, of it then, but... Um, and he on the Tinder, he set his radius to 4,000 miles. <laughs> excluding Clarehan. Okay. He just wants to shit in his own doorstep. Well, he didn't want that long distance, so he... <laughs> A good woman could straighten a man out. Oh, yeah. I know a fella, and you heard of him too. Do you remember those murders that were unsolved back to Glen? Yeah. He was going round breaking into people's houses at night and stabbing them in their beds. <laughs> and didn't he start going out with Cher Welch's daughter? And she got him into hill walking. <laughs> Jesse's he's a different man. <laughs> different man altogether. <laughs> He gave up the old murdering. <laughs> he joined the Lions Club. <laughs> He's a nephew of Mickey Scoop, you know. Is he? I know him all my life. No, I didn't tell the guys that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But. Jeez, he can't be just letting a murder on the loose. Ah, but she thought that was only in our phase he was going through. <laughs> Bit too much TG Cahar. Yeah. You know? <laughs> she straightened him out, by. Yeah. And they were going to arrest him. <laughs> if they got him. <laughs> Good woman straighten the fella out. Jesus Christ. Do you remember Carlo Joe? Oh, Joe from Carlo. No, uh, Carlo Joe. Yeah. From Cork. Oh, yeah. Of course he was. Yeah, you remember him. Yeah. And he had a brother, Dublin Mick. Where was he from? <laughs> I know where he was from. <laughs> I know where Dublin Mick was from. <laughs> he was a brother of Carlo Joe, anyway. <laughs> Who was from Cork. Well, he couldn't read, God love him. All oh, right, Jesus. That's terrible. <laughs> and every time he went to the shop, yeah. he just bought sausages. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, you'd see him working on the roads and he'd be stink. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he was an awful, God help us, that fella. Yeah. 
Poor devil. It would be a good smell of shit off him as well. <laughs> <laughs> or didn't he meet? Didn't he meet a woman from Galway? Right. Two years later, he's a solicitor. <laughs> as a fact. <laughs> as a fact. Jeez, that's remarkable. I think so, anyway. <laughs> I have some big job anyway. Right. She turned him around. A good woman turned a fella around. He's a listener. Do you remember Tractor Dan? Drove the lorry. <laughs> you remember Tractor Dan? <laughs> Who drove the lorry? He used to <laughs> He used to pal around with Paddy the Painter. Yeah. Who worked in the barbers. <laughs> <laughs> who worked in the barbers? Remember Paddy the Painter? Yeah, stop, stop for a minute. He was an absolute put hoc for drink, this fella, right? <laughs> Whiskey. You may as well throw it in the ground. Right? <laughs> I tell you, drinking with him, he was like a Ronan Keaton album. <laughs> you couldn't get to the end of him. <laughs> Didn't he start doing a line with Bumpy Buckley's daughter? And he was being in the pub every night of the week. And now he's at home by the fire. Different man. Wow. Well, I tell you, Margaret from the Shamrock <laughs> is not talking to her. <laughs> She's down a man. But there's a lot less crashes in the lorry. Yeah. <laughs> a good woman turned a fell around. That's true, that's true. Now, <laughs> I just want to give you a word of advice this Christmas. Oh, lovely. Thank you, Noel. Shop local. <laughs> Let me guess. If you're shopping at all. <laughs> Let me guess what's because, going on. Because I'm going to give you the gifts I'll be given. Okay, right, okay. Top tips. Recycle. Ah, that's good. Sometimes I don't wrap the presents at all. Uh, and some Christmas mornings, people might say, that was on the table all week. <laughs> <laughs> Hiding in plain sight. Yeah. Uh, like I gave, recycling, I gave John Paul my old boots. <laughs> uh, no, they were fucked. <laughs> yeah, they were, they were bollocks now, you know, and they, they, were, they were fucking ruined. My pants uh, were so <laughs> But I didn't want them. <laughs> so I gave them to him. Waste not, want not. Yeah, yeah. You know, there's people less fortunate in the world, so that's what I'm thinking about, recycle. Play. Um, for Thank you. For the daughter... <laughs> I got her a pair of tights. Right, okay. Because I, they're all wearing them now. Uh, business women. <laughs> <laughs> nurses. I don't know. Oh, yeah, oh, all sorts of people <laughs> wearing tights. It's not just merry men anymore. <laughs> a, lot, a lot of people wearing tights. Uh, for Padre's wife, I got her an old video of Darina Allen cooking. Because hey, I went for dinner at their house before and there was a bit of chicken up in the plate. I thought it was going to eat me. Right? <laughs> Good thing I brought a bottle of whiskey <laughs> to kill it. I got locked anyway. And we had a great night. Yeah. Oh, we had a powerful night. No, I don't think they were drinking, but... <laughs> <laughs> you had a good night. We had a great night. We're finished now. We're good people. Okay. Uh, for the neighbours, a box of chocolates. They gave it to us last year. And we had given it to them the year before. Because <laughs> given it back. Because they had given it to us the year before, yeah. It's been going on 24 years. <laughs> well, I think it has. I never opened the box. I assume it's the same one. I keep it with the decorations, and I just write Donovan on it, and then I fuck <laughs> it back in over the wall to him. <laughs> Christmas Eve, and uh, what do you know? I get a box back. <laughs> so it started by accident. They gave us chocolates. I offered them to Paddy Fong. And I forgot he was afraid of the color purple. <laughs> and then... <laughs> Why is he... <laughs> in all the excitement, I gave him back to the neighbor. Um, for my, my grandson, JJ, uh, a voucher for Frankie Fahey's funeral home. <laughs> so he'll probably spend it on me. Yeah, true. So true. I get the money back. Even when you're dead. So I'm winning. <laughs> Do you get me? I get you. You don't want to be wasting money. <laughs> uh, little Ashling, the granddaughter. Last year, I got her John Deere overalls. Oh, that's, that's, that's a good present. She was not happy. Okay. 
I think she's a Massey Ferguson woman. But <laughs> <laughs> well, she's only nine. Okay. She might change her mind. She knows her own mind. Uh, I give them all working gloves. <laughs> all the grandkids, just to be safe. Yeah. Would they want them? Yeah. Ha! 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 And for my darling wife, Carmel, that's between me and her. Oh. No. But I will right. say, I found out what Victoria's secret is. Oh. It's fucking expensive. <laughs> what <it> is. <laughs> 40 pounds for a pair of knickers with a hole in them. <laughs> I put the hole in mine for free. Ha! 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 Happy Christmas. Thanks, really. See you later. Good luck. <laughs>